start off tonight, though, with the breaking news update from Laurel. A student has been committed for an emergency evaluation for what police are calling a credible threat to Laurel High School. Now, listen, we do not report on rumors of threats, and there are a lot of them out there floating around in the gossip world that we now live in. We are just leaving it up to the districts to tell parents when it is just a rumor. But when police get involved and they make a move like they did tonight, we have to report this. Here's ABC 2 News Cheryl Connor back from Laurel with the very latest. Cheryl. Yeah, Kelly and Jamie, in this case, students are getting the credit. They saw strange behavior by a classmate, told a teacher who told security who got the word to police. And now the student is undergoing a mental evaluation. Police found a plan that could have turned deadly. Flags are flying at half staff in Laurel to remember the victims in Newtown, Connecticut. The city is feeling lucky to stay off the map. That's alarming for just to hear it somewhere else and then to have it at your school. It's surprising. Police say the incident began last week when students at Laurel High School told a teacher that a classmate made them uncomfortable. The information got to police on Monday. That's when investigators searched the student's locker. There were some materials that were found uh, in the locker that gave some credibility, some lists and charts and diagrams, things of that nature. The student was not at school, but police were able to find him and talk to his parents. They realized he had access to weapons. He was committed to a hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. I just think it's becoming a lot more common. So, but yeah, when someone else sees it being done, then they're like, oh, so they, do it. they did it, so now I can do it too. It may be tough to make a copycat argument since police say the incident began before 26 people were shot and killed at Sandy Hook Elementary on Friday. Police say there were no verbal threats at the school, but it was enough to raise an eyebrow and take some action. You don't want to risk it. If, if, if it did happen, you'd be like, I should have said something. It's better to be like, I did say something than say I should have said something. The student was not arrested or charged. A spokesperson for Prince George's County Schools says robocalls went out tonight to families and a letter will be sent home.